here's our tale of the tape. Sergei Adamchuk from the Ukraine, Alexei Ulyanov from Russia. Both men in their prime. Ulyanov one inch taller and will enjoy a three inch reach advantage. Professional experience, the edge going to Sergei Adamchuk. I mean, 38% KO ratio, but Ulyanov, the technician, and he's gonna really bring a nice, solid fight against Adamchuk. He's the going for this bout for Adamchuk, as I mentioned, needs the pressure, needs to mix his boxing and his kicks, and he needs to have a lot of volume. Ulyanov, keep technical. He's really good with his defense and distance control, and he needs to have an answer to Sergei Adamchuk's kicks and punches. Two of the world's top five featherweights go to war next in about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a Russian national champion who moves up to number three in the glory world rankings. His professional record, 29 wins, six losses, one draw, and seven career knockouts. At five feet nine and one half inches, 1.76 meters, he weighed in at 142.9 pounds, 64.8 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Kuspas, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, here is Alexei Uliano. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a contender tournament champion who won his first five glory starts. His professional record impressive, 39 wins, just 11 losses, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet eight and one half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 142.2 pounds, 64.5 kilograms. Fighting tonight, out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. He is the number one contender in the division and the former featherweight champion of the world. He is Sergei Adamchuk. And the referee for this contest, John Axwood. Hey, both fighters, you know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. Okay. Questions? Open. Who gets Petch Pamara? Will it be Adam Chuk or will it be Alexei Ulyanov? The Russian Ulyanov in the black gloves. Adam Chuk from the Ukraine in the white. Adam Chuk went right after Ulyanov. And what do you make of. Adam Chuck's quick turnaround, Joe. He fought at the end of November. Well, I mean, a lot of times that, that's good for fighters. It, you get less nerves that when you fight closer between each other. So I think it's just going to help him. He's an experienced guy. So I think, if anything, it's going to be a benefit for him. A lot of experience for Adam Chuck. This Great. is his 17th fight in glory. Right. Ulyanov's fifth fight under this promotion. Yeah, especially with Adam Chuk coming off a finish. That's a good feeling to have, and you always want to replicate it. So that's why Adam Chuk's coming after it and going back to those rear hard low kicks. Good straight right hand coming in from Break, step back. Sergei Adam Chuk. Julianov did his best to try and uh, convince us to cheer for him, for him as he brought in some homemade vodka that his father made. It's definitely strong. <laughs> One shot will do you. <laughs> First time these two men have met, they both agreed it was a matter of time before we squared off. Breaks, a lot of respect man. between these two. Yeah, both technicians as well. Anytime they fight someone there, they seem to be more the technically sound guys, but I think when it comes to technique, very evenly matched. Briggs, the you know, Biggest difference is Adam Chuck being the southpaw, Ulyanov Orthodox. Coming up next, Alex Pereira defending his middleweight title against Ertugul by Rack. I'm really liking the output from Adam Chuck, but Ulyanov knows he's got to counter and match the pace. Break, step back. Come 
great. Adam Chuck. What? We've seen him do rolling thunder. I believe every fight he's been in, he tries basically, which is a front flip, try and catch the guy on the head with your heel. And it's usually great. third Stay round, back. 10 seconds left. We wait for it every time. Adam Chuck won his featherweight championship at Glory 25 Milan, beating Gabriel Varga. Adam Chuck attacking the back leg, but Juliana just checked one. Let's see if that slows Adam Chuck down from throwing it. That round looked about like we expected it. Yeah, very technical. I mean, I feel Adam Chuck may have a slight edge from the way he was pushing the pace, but very close round, very technical, well, well thought out. Adam Chuck making his 18th glory appearance. Believe it or not, only one knockout for him, and it came in his last bout against the previously undefeated Abraham Badal. Yeah, he's been fighting at the top of the division for some time, so it's hard to get knockouts. His opponent, Alexei Ulyanov, currently ranked number three in the featherweight division. And he's from Kuzbas, Russia, and he trains with the light heavyweight champion, Artem Vakitov, as well as Menchikov. So, a lot of good experience there. Uh, Round two scheduled for three. Once again, the winner of this will face Petch Panmarong for the featherweight championship of the world. Three of the judges giving that to Adam Chuck, two for Uliana. Like again, just as we predicted, split close. Both men will think they won this fight when it's Yeah, through. absolutely. Maybe they'll surprise us. Ulyanov, seven KO wins and 28 victories. Adam Chuck, 14 out of 38. Break, step back. Right. I'm liking those punch to knees for Ulyanov seems to be his best weapon in this fight is that right knee. A lot of great athletes coming out of Mike's gym. But according to those in the know, including Milano, one of the big trainers there, few, if any, have the same type of work ethic as Sergei Adamchuk. Yeah, even when we were talking to Botter in his pre-fight interview, he said Adamchuk is one of the most technical guys at the gym. Break, step back. That's a big compliment to get. Break, step back. It's almost like these two are a different version of themselves. How do you beat just, yourself? Just backwards. Yeah. You know? With the different stance. <coughs> like fighting a mirror. Break, step back. The statistics are extremely close. Break, step back. Ulyanov said the winner of this fight will be whoever is smarter in the ring. What do you think he meant by that? Well, I think it's so close, and, and the game between these two, it's it's very close. So it's the minor details that's going to play the difference. So it's literally that when they say the game of inches, it's one little split second that could be the difference. Good body shot with the right hand for Adam Chuck. Who will head home for Christmas tomorrow, he said, in the Ukraine. Smart guy as well, has a law degree and says he'll most likely be a lawyer as soon as his fighting days are over. I like that. Ulyanov is pushing the pace a little bit more in the second round. He's being first. Great. Ooh, nice front kick for Adam Chuck. And when rounds are this close, Joe, one strike like that right. can tilt it in your yeah. favor. It's that close. Right. Follow former NFL player Spice Adams as he explores the world of glory in our new series, Kicking It.
New episodes every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Watch. There are the Glory Girls, or at least a Glory Girl. Five here tonight. Getting a set for the third round. Three, Joe, how do you think this is playing out right now? Well, I think that second round was better for Ulyanov, so I would have it one round apiece. I thought Adam Chuk got the first, and my own official, and second round I gave to Uliana. There it is. Three judges have it even, which means pretty much the winner of this fight, or winner of this round, will win the fight. Bring, step back. Both men have landed 51 strikes. We knew it would be close. It doesn't get close. Break, step back. Right. If these guys fought 100 times, that would be 300 rounds. I bet it'd be 150 to 150. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against that. Still to come, our middleweight world title fight, Pereira and Ray, Byron. Back. I like that Adam Chuck is going back to his low kicks. I know Ulyanov has been blocking them, though. <laughs> Winner of this fight will square off against Pitch Panamarong early next year. Break, step back. Right. Ulyanov said that he believes he gave Petch Panarong his toughest test. Break. Do you agree with that? Step back, step back. Well, I mean, it just, it was Break. earlier in Petch's career, what? too, and that's why I want to kind of see it again, is because both have evolved so much since then, but yeah, it was definitely one of Petch's tougher ones. What? I mean, another tough one he just had, Kevin Van Ostrand, and they went to a, a majority draw. Break, step back. Ulyanov getting some success here with these front kicks. I like that Ulyanov is trying to pressure, trying to be first. Good round here for the Russian. Break, step back. What? Oh, nice spinning heel kick there for the Ukrainian. Break. You gotta love each corner screaming and yelling every time their guy does something, trying to influence these judges a little bit. Yep, you have to. Ooh, Adam Chuck just sat on those punches. Three, step back. Oh, look at Ulyanov pressing his forehead right into the Don't face of Adam Chuck. And a slow get up from Serhe. Yeah, that hurt his back. John right. X with. The oh, oh, there it is! Rolling thunder! I'm not sure what John Axe was warning him about. <laughs> Joe, after probably 20 attempts, he finally landed it. Yeah, we we cannot we can leave him alone now for it. That was brilliant, actually. Yeah, but I feel like Uliana really needed to be warned here by pushing that forehead in and clinching the back, but. That was uh, the calf that landed. If that was the heel, it would have been a little bit different, a little bit more damage with that rolling thunder, but landed regardless. Your guess is as good as ours. Who advances to a world title shot? The decision is next. We're back at the Heldra Dome in the Netherlands, and things heated up in that third round. Yeah, it was very close and technical, like as we predicted. Adam Chuck started really well being first. But it seemed like in the second round, Ulyanov started pressuring more, started landing his hands, and just kept trying to be first. But Adam Chuck continued to throw back, trying to mix his kicks. And it all just happened in a lot of the, the close range, mid range attacking. There's that rolling thunder. I mean, Adam Chuck was complaining his back was sore, then he came out with that. 
Here are the statistics. Extremely close when you add them all up. 82 of 169 compared to 78 of 187. And they would go back and forth. Anyone's guess, Joe, who would you take? Well, I, I'm going to go slight edge to Ulyanov just based on his activity. I go slight edge to Adam Chuck. Who's right. right? Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, we once again go to the judges' scorecard. They give us back a split decision. Here now are the totals. Two judges score this bout. 29-28, Adam Chuk. Two judges score the bout. 30-27, Ulyanov. And our fifth and final judge scores the bout. 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Sergei Adamchuk! And who knows, Joe, maybe it was that rolling thunder with a couple seconds left that tilted the bout. I mean, spectacular offense scores, but I mean, like we said, there's going to be half uh, of this fight is going to be upset, and Ulyanov does look upset, and every right to be. <laughs> they both thought they won it, and here is that rolling thunder. My kids do that off the high dive into the swimming pool. I almost feel like we need to give Adam, uh, Adam Chuck that nickname, the Rolling Thunder. <laughs>